Hey guys, Rashad here. Hot topic, natural singer versus nurtured singer. Now, what are we? We are a mix of both. We're all natural to some degree. I like to use a scale of one to 10. So if your natural level is one, it might overall, it might mean that you suck at vibrato, you suck at pitch accuracy, you can't match a note when you hear a note one note at a time, you can't do, you can't hear runs, you can't sing high, you can't sing loud, you can't control your volume, you can't go soft, medium, loud, you can't go into falsetto, you can't go from chest blending into falsetto, you'll be a one. If you can't do none of these things and you sound really bad when you sing, you'll be a one, all right? If you can do maybe some of these things to some sort of basic or intermediate level, you'll be higher than a one. Okay, it's kind of a, I like to measure it on degrees because no one, nothing is ever fully black and white. You're shit at everything or you're good at everything. You're usually weak in some areas, strong in some areas. All right. So this is where, once you got that down, you've got to assess yourself where you're currently at. Okay, using those elements. So go to my website, rmbsinglessons.com, look up elements on, that, on the menu and you'll see all those elements I just listed. Measure yourself how you are with those. If you don't know how to measure yourself, come see me and I'll help you measure yourself. Once you measure yourself, you'll be like, oh, what's that? If you don't even know what those elements are, you probably need to learn about them, okay? You want to get lessons or watch my videos. Plenty of videos on rnbsinglessons.com. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about a nurtured singer. Nurtured singer, we're all nurtured to some degree. We wouldn't learn to sing without nurture. Where does nurture come from? Nurture comes from our culture, our immediate teachers, our implicit teachers or our explicit teachers. So all, all things we learn, we learn from what we experience in our environment. And that's what I mean by nurture. Nurture comes in with all the songs you hear. The radio, the invention of the radio allows you to hear those songs. The television, YouTube, wherever you hear music that is um, that's a form of nurture, the first form of nurture, you hearing songs in the first place, okay? Second form of nurture is you um, being explicitly instructed as to how to sing songs. So it's you being told, like what I teach you, falsetto, um, runs, pitch accuracy, learning melodies, learning the bridge, chorus, learning the verse, all that kind of stuff. That's all nurture. That's someone telling you, how to do something that's the nurtured side okay we all get nurtured to some degree the people we call natural are people that didn't need to go to a teacher they're still nurtured because somebody gave them the environment where they would hear music they didn't grow up in like some tribal area and the only music they heard was their tribal music or something like that all right they they were exposed that's why we that's why you now see singers actually keep getting better and better if you listen to tribal music, it sounds more basic because music has gotten better and better and better, especially from that period where classical music came out. And like that was a period where music was like super complex and became super complex and amazing artists like Mozart and all those ones that came around that time or were similar to him, boosted music to like new levels. And now all music we know now comes from our understanding of the music that was really advanced back then. And it keeps getting more advanced because they notated music back then so it was able to be passed down it wasn't lost over time you know what i mean so we get better from our environment from nurture so it's great that there's a lot of teachers out there and teachers are striving to make students get better and better and perfect the art of teaching singing and uh, also improve singing itself with different genres and different types of like fusion and different kinds of music. R&B is a fusion, so it's, you know, it didn't come from nowhere. It came from being a mix of other things. So, nurture is the side, and here's the thing, everyone can be nurtured. Every singer can be nurtured to different levels, okay? So some people need more nurture, teaching, and some people don't need as much. Some people use more of their natural ability to teach themselves with a minimal amount of nurture. All they need is like, give me the CDs, give me a YouTube playlist, and they'll be like, they can learn it. You know what I mean? Some people need more. Some people need more than that. 
It's got nothing. That's what I mean by nature and nurture. Everyone is born very different. Everyone is born with a very different natural level of ability. But the nurture, anyone can get that. It doesn't matter where your natural ability is, anyone can get nurtured throughout their life. Anyone can be given CDs, anyone can be uh, given a great teacher to help them out, like me. Come see me and I'll help you out. <laughs> anyone can be um, motivated by great mentors and inspirational people. Anyone can be put in that environment, but not anyone can be given the natural talents. Now, those natural talents are only seen when a person is put in an environment where they can be displayed. That's the thing about nature and nurture, okay, that's very interesting. You can only see if someone's natural at something when that something exists in a certain environment where they can display it. How can you know if someone's a natural at music a piano if they're never given a piano. Some people exist in cultures where they never get exposure to a piano. They never have the instrument there. How will you ever know if they get good? They never have the grandma or the parent that plays piano around them for them to even think to play a piano because it just would not exist. Now everyone has a voice, so everyone can sing, but how would you even know if someone can sing unless they're exposed two singers that sing around them that make them think to sing in the first place okay now maybe they're a kind of person that is a creator and they create an art and that's amazing if they did that but I mean in our context we're not really talking about that we're talking about singers that are just amazing and they sing amazing right it's usually because they've been put in an environment where they've listened to music as they've grown up they've been nurtured by their parents playing music around them and then they've gone and created their own voice and their own things based on that nurture of seeing having their parents singing around them every morning or having their parent that does gigs and they went to their gigs with them or maybe their parent taught them explicitly whatever it might be there's some level of nurture that they got in order to see if they even had the natural talent and then what we call natural is when we compare people and see how long people take to learn so some people just watch their parents do vibrato and then they were able to do vibrato on their own. But then we call them a natural. But some people were not able to do that. Some people needed the teacher to go to give them three lessons on vibrato for like three hours. And then they went and practiced for three hours on their own, six hours total, then they learned vibrato. Whereas some people need 50 hours of work on vibrato. They need 10 hours of lessons with the teacher one-on-one -on -one, and then they need another 40 hours of practice on their own time which takes them like maybe over two three years to get that really smooth vibrato that the natural got that the great the greatest highest level of natural that the eight nine ten out of ten level natural picked up by themselves just by hearing their parent or this artist on the cd do it and then the other um the the five out of ten natural or whatever picked it up after a couple of hours of lessons and a couple of hours of practice and then maybe the 7 out of 10 natural picked it up after just seeing one YouTube video of someone describing how to do vibrato and then they were able to copy it and figure it out so nature versus nurture natural singer versus nurtured singer it all plays a role but the great thing is anyone can be nurtured and that's what's important most important is anyone can be nurtured and a teacher needs to learn to understand how to nurture people that are on different levels of the natural scale from 1 to 10 to 10 to 10 and take the ability to teach to be able to meet people where they're at so if they see a 1 out of 10 at vibrato 1 out of 10 at pitch accuracy 1 out of 10 at melody 1 out of 10 at range they know how to address that that's what teachers got to do they got to learn how to do that I believe I've done that let me come, come and let me help you to do that if you need help if you don't want to come in person, go watch my videos, rnbsinglessons.com. All my playlists are there, my YouTube place, all set out in a nice way. And I've got some articles there and stuff, little bits and pieces for you. Fine. And other teachers, I urge you, try to meet people where they're at, different levels. Not lots of teachers are doing this. There's a lot of amazing teachers out there that know how to do this in different things, different areas. Okay, every teacher's got different strengths that they know how to meet people at. Okay, but that's the good news is that First, you diagnose where you're at so you can find out what level you're currently at 
whether you've been nurtured or you're a natural, it's, that will depend on the teacher being able to get that out of you. What's your history? How did you grow up? What made you want to sing in the first place? How much singing do you do approximately every day? What kind of music do you listen to, etc. Those kind of questions. But even that, you don't need to know. What the, what the teacher needs to know is where you're currently at and how to find the exercises and the, the, to get you to get better at those songs that you're trying to get better at. How to take those songs and break them up into an exercise, break them up into the kind of exercise that will meet you, whether you're currently at a 5 out of 10, a 1 out of 10, because we don't know what you're born at. Because when you come to lessons when you're 10 years old, when you're 20 years old, you're currently at a certain stage, and that's where we have to meet you as a teacher. Okay? So the teacher's skill is to find where they can meet you at, depending on where your current level is at. Whether you've been nurtured or whether you're natural, it's, it's really, we don't, we don't know until we ask you about your history, you know? If you've never learned something, it'll be evident because I'll say, do vibrato, and then you might, you might be like a two out of 10 on vibrato, and, I'll be, and then I'll teach you, and if you pick it up in a relatively short time, based on what's my experience with teaching a couple dozen, a couple hundred people over the years, I'll be like, wow, you're a natural, like you're a six out of 10 natural because you picked it up after we did like five lessons. Whereas I've seen my other students and they take, they're, they're working on this for months to pick this up. Okay, so I hope that helps. You understand natural versus natural, <laughs> nature versus nurture, natural singer versus nurtured singer, a bit more. Rashed Hayek, IBCLessons.com. See you next time. Bye.